Hey guys, Let's Chat 6 here. Today we have a very exciting video. We are not going to need controllers because this is going to be a hand tracking video. I'm going to be reviewing the grip update for Hand Physics Lab, a side quest game where you can use your own hands to interact with objects in the world around you. The update comes out today, October 16th, and adds improvements to the user interface, to the amount of objects that you can interact with, as well as improving how you interact with these objects. For example, you'll be able to grip things easier. So that's a very important thing when it comes to hand tracking, since you have no controller to figure out how hard or how soft you're grabbing something. So that's important. I hope you're as excited for this as I am, so let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, we have this rubber ducky here that you can squeeze and it squeaks. I do remember their game Holoception, which I had a lot of fun with, had a lot of that theme where there were rubber duckies scattered around. And then you have a Holonautic mug. Oh, you can break it. That's awesome. Then we have some buttons. Oh, so it's kind of like a Simon Says game. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I fill it up. Up next, you get to see your tools here. So you have an apple and a miniature car, and you have these tools here. So let's grab a hammer and an apple. Ah! Nothing really happens, it's just for fun. How about the car? It's pretty cool how the wheels turn, but nothing really comes of uh, slamming on it. Oh, you can pry the wheel out a little bit there. That's pretty neat. Next we have blocks. So, if we spawn two blocks here, put one down. Very neat. So you can stack some blocks. It looks like the maximum you can do is 40 and you can choose which shape you'd like and which color. So let's do a green rectangle thing. So we can just gently set it down here. Perfect. Up next, we have some weights. So these guys here, you can lift weights with. Then it looks like you have various cubes here that have different weights to them. So here's a one kilogram one. Can't even lift it with one hand. You'll need both. Then a hundred grams. Easy peasy. 10 grams, there we go, 10 kilograms, oh man, there we go, I got that a little bit, and 100 kilograms, the monster, oh, I got a little air there, ooh, you can type on this keyboard here, and it actually shows up on the screen there, got a little clicky mouse, I do want to say there's a keyboard that's compatible with Quest 2 so that you can type kind of like this in VR and do your homework or your work, whatever you need to do. And so I have that keyboard and I will be reviewing that keyboard on my channel as soon as possible. So that is really neat how they were able to do that. Got a pencil here so you can use your other hand to hold this ruler and get your straight lines going. Then you can grab this eraser and erase. So I was playing around earlier and I wrote hi, not the prettiest, but you, yeah, so you can dip your finger in here, what color, whatever color you want, and you can see, you can paint a pretty picture here. So here is the egg painting station. Let's put an egg in here, and then, like earlier, you're going to dip your fingers in, hold a finger up to the egg while it's rotating. Beautiful. Alright, let's do a yellow stripe. Perfect. Let's get a green stripe on there. You can see the colors kind of layer on your hands. I love how that turned out. And finally, let's add a blue stripe. What a pretty egg we have here. A lot of people are gonna like this one because you can grab guns and shoot them like Nerf guns at these characters here with your actual hands. So that's pretty exciting. This one says, do not touch. Of course I'm gonna touch, why wouldn't you? So let's take this egg and put it, oh, it's burning from the laser here. Oh, my hands are burning now, ouch. Obviously it doesn't really hurt, but look how charred they are. Oh, it fell off. 
Can I have my hand back? There we go. Oh, I love it. A shout out to Hollowception, one of my favorite games I've ever played in VR. So it looks like a little ragdoll figure. So you can like, kind of like toss him around, <laughs> smack him. Poor guy. Then you have a little bouncy ball there. All right, I'll stop torturing him. Oh, force push. So you get the force field going. Aim at your character. Nice. First try. Oh, then you can do a science experiment. Oh no, your hand still burns in the laser and the fire, as you would think. But then you have some water where you can wash off. You have some bone painter. Oh, and it makes your, your hands a pretty yellow color. Next, you can make your hand into a glove. Wow, that's really realistic. Looks almost like latex. And finally, acid. So it's gonna burn through any kind of paint or anything you just put on your hands. Oh, and somebody's there to copy me. Hello. What's up? Very cool. Oh, and last but not least, we have a birthday cake. Put our candles in. Oh, they're already pre-lit. What does this lighter do? Oh, very neat. If you hold your thumb there, like you're, like you're actually starting a lighter, but it's neat that it's an actual lighter. Oh, and then the computer sings to you. Awesome. That's that's a really nice touch. And it looks like that's everything you can do in Hand Physics Lab, including the grip update. I'll see you in my final thoughts. So that was the grip update from the Hand Physics Lab. What did you think? Comment down below. It's absolutely off to a great start, and I'm excited to see where they go from here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. It really helps the channel out. And if you've already been here, thanks for your continued support. Keep an eye out for the Quest 2 unboxing coming up as well as the keyboard that's compatible with it. Thanks, bye.